Hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to the next episode of Review Mode. We're going to be behind, but I'm going to be finishing this series by the 31st of December, delaying the end, which was originally, originally going to be the 25th. <coughs> but ultimately, it will probably be the 31st by the time we wrap this up. But today we're back with The Night Before, featuring Anthony Mackie, Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, three friends upholding a tradition that will end this year on Christmas as one is an athlete, one is a lawyer, and one is a loser. Enjoy. Subscribe and like as always. Spoilers ahead, and let's dive into The Night Before. So a film, as I said, picks three different lifestyles that have grown over the years, a 10-year friendship that ultimately is coming to an end. Not the friendship, but the tradition of them spending Christmas together. Then you get cameos from James Franco, Miley Cyrus, an array of other great actors and talents throughout this that just complement the story. You know, you get Seth Rogen, who is drugged out of his mind for most of the film. Anthony Mackie, who is a steroid-taking, egotistical athlete. And you have Joe Disco Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who is drunk from basically when they start their night, to someone who's a addicted to this one girl and making sure that he gets with her by the end of the night and ultimately you go through you know the, the typical stuff of, of um drugs robbery um, drunk hallucinating arguing typical behavior between these three that you'd come to know on a night out, you know, in a sense. I think it showcases, I mean, I don't, I don't go on night, a night out, but it shows a typical night out for these three. Um, it's funny for the most part. I think Joseph Gordon Levitt is definitely the worst part of the film. I think, you know, you could have put anyone in there. Um, he's not funny. I don't think he's really talented as an actor. I've seen him in, obviously, Batman. There's not much acting to him in Batman. Ten Things Hear About You. You know, there's so much they just. You watch Seth Rogen, he's an absolute fucking genius in this film. He's so funny, so inviting to watch. The way he trips out for most of this film, the way he's able to just bring his character to life, he is hilarious. Wearing his Jew shirt the entire film and, you know, going to church and then seeing other Jews in the restaurant later. There's so much comedy to it. And brings it to life you know i love the the, the reminiscent scene of them doing the big piano thing uh, of tom hanks and the other guys in the film you know little nods like that to other films anthony mackie he was probably like you know if you had to rank the three of him he'd be in the middle he was funny he was enjoyable to watch he was um as i said even though he was ar arrogant and egotistical he still came across better than joseph 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 came across as a desperate weirdo who wants to get back with this girl and some reason proposed were because Miley Cyrus said so. I just when I see him in the film, I go, yeah, it's not even gonna be that good. And he's meant to be the main character at the end of the day. And for me, Seth and Anthony are just light years ahead in talent, in comedy, in just bring characters to life. They were their their stories were so much more enjoyable. Um, and you enjoy their, their journeys. He learned that there's more to his teammates. That Seth Rogen also learned that there's more to taking drugs. And to focus on the baby, to focus on his wife, to focus on his friends, to focus on lawyering. And ultimately, I just think this film is a blend of brilliant storytelling. That it's simple storytelling, but it's just done in such a good way. You know, the whole stuff of Mr. Green trying to get to this party that ends up being his. You know, trying to steal wheel, uh, weed, uh, and it just ends up being a fantastic uh, roller coaster of a night. That three friends end up seeing themselves in the same lane at the end of the day. They've all got issues. They've all got things to lie about. Three things they're not comfortable with talking about, and by the end of it, a tradition becomes different when all the family spend time together. Joseph gets the girl. Anthony stops the steroids and drops himself from the team. And Seth Rogen realizes he is not ready for the baby, but is willing to admit it. So a fantastic film. It was just so enjoyable to watch. Um, it's not the greatest film ever, but as comedy goes, as enjoyability goes, it was brilliant. And Seth Rogen is just brilliant in everything he's in. He's a comedy genius. 
Uh, the way he's on drugs, it just makes it that much better. And obviously, this was an one of Anthony's first breakout films I saw him in. You know, he was in Captain America the year before. He was in this. He was in um, A Mile not too long ago. And like I said, Joseph's done bits. But obviously, I don't really rate him as an actor, but that's just how I see it. So the, the night before, he's going to get a 8 out of 10, a solid, solid rating. You guys, let me know down below in the comments what you thought. Subscribe, like as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.